Let's talk about my five favorite mods on my Jeep. So none of these mods are in order from best to worst. It's just my top five favorite and we're gonna start on the inside. One of my most favorite mods that I've done to my Jeep is this radio here. So this is in a total radio. You get these off of Amazon. The version that I have, they don't sell it on Amazon anymore. They have an upgraded version now. I would honestly recommend getting, I think it's seven or eight inch, I'm not sure. I wouldn't get the 10 inch because it requires more modification to install, a little bit harder and it blocks off the vents. So I would go with the seven or eight inch. I'm not sure which one it is. I'll have it linked down below for the upgraded version. This is my most favorite thing about my Jeep is the fact that I have Apple CarPlay so I can play you know, music and have the map on there. It's pretty dope. It also connects to Bluetooth the Bluetooth is pretty quick. It connects pretty fast. On my radio for the Apple CarPlay, I do have to have it connected here. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm not sure if the newer version is wireless CarPlay or plugged in. And if you guys haven't checked out our Landers podcast, they're pretty dope. They talk about their Overland company and all their friends and all that. So I would check them out. But this is definitely one of my favorite upgrades on my Jeep. Another one of my favorite upgrades, it's inside the Jeep. And I do sell it on my website. It is my interior light kit. And this thing is definitely one of my top things it's the reason why i sell them because i was tired of at night if i was looking for something on the floors i would have to use my phone the flashlight to look for it and i was over that so i ended up making my own kit and that's what i offer to you guys now and i recently upgraded the kit so the t10s are a lot brighter and on the load resistor it comes with vhb tape which is a high heat resistant tape and you don't have to screw it in anymore but this is definitely one of my most favorite interior mods that i've done easy to install and at night, everything's lit up on the floor, the seats, the back, everything. So I might be a little biased on that one since I sell it, but it's honestly one of my favorite things. And I love when you guys send me pictures on Instagram showing the difference of the before and after because it makes a big difference. Now, before we continue this video, I do want to mention thank you guys for the 10K subscribers. That is amazing. I am super grateful. I can't believe we hit 10K. And because we hit it, we are doing a giveaway for either a lift kit for your Jeep WJ, some wheels, or a cash option. So the lift kit will be a zone lift kit. I've had people tell me that it's a good kit to get started, so that's the one that I went with. If you already have a lift kit, you can choose the wheel option, which is a set of rock tricks. It's a set of four. You choose the style that you want. And if you're out of the country, there is a cash option that you can get. Some of the companies don't send out of the country, so the cash option, if you're out of the United States, will be the best bet for you. And also on my website, if you do purchase something like the interior light kit, we are doing a giveaway right now for inject they will be the four hole for either the v8 or the inline six every dollar spent on the website is an entry for the giveaway last month we did give away an ox beam switch panel so don't miss out on that giveaway as well and for the lift kit giveaway you don't have to buy anything you just click the link down below and you can sign up now for my third favorite modification on the jeep will be the headlights so these headlights are the ones with the C bar that light up. They just make the Jeep look newer, they look sick, and the low beam are projectors. So I would recommend if you do pick up these headlights, they're about $250. Uh, upgrade the low beam to LED. I know these are halogen projectors, but the LED will be fine. They're not gonna blind people. They have a pretty good cutoff line, so these are really good headlights. I would definitely recommend them. I did get the headlights and the tail lights for 200 bucks on offer up. I got hooked up. Now my fourth favorite thing on the Jeep are the long arms that I have in the front. Of course, right now they are all dirty, but the long arms actually make a difference. For the people who say you don't need long arms, that blah, 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 I would honestly recommend it. I daily drive my Jeep and having the long arms makes a huge difference, especially li being lifted as much as I am. You will definitely notice it compared to short arms. With the long arms, it pushes the axle forward as well, so it won't hit the back, but it will rub in the front under here, so I have to trim that. And I actually purchased them a while back, so right now they're a little bit more expensive than what I paid for them, but honestly, they are well worth the money. Uh, when I save up, I will definitely get the rears, but for now, I'm rocking the front only, and I honestly recommend it. Now for the fifth and final upgrade that's my favorite thing is the steering. This is from Trail Forge. This is the HD Heim joint steering and I got the full kit. So it comes with the tie rod here, the drag link and the track bar. I'm running over the axle track bar and over the knuckle steering. And this is best for off-roading. If your Jeep is a daily, I don't recommend the HD Heim joints just because they are loud and they do make noise. And the Heims, they're tight. So the steering, you feel everything on the road. So I wouldn't recommend that for a daily. Get the one tons. The one tons are a little bit more expensive, but they will be well worth it. On my Jeep, I actually struggled with death wobble a lot. 
and that steering actually helped me out and the reason being is most of the joints were bad in my steering so that's why it helped me it might not fix your death wobble but it could and right now trail forge is back in stock they're actually producing a bunch of stuff they had issues with shipping delays and all that but they are back so check them out go support them down below and if you guys haven't noticed look at my hat i'm going to be putting these on the website soon i think these hats came out sick they're like a shiny red with white if you guys want to support the channel pick one up these hats will be available on the website monday march 28th so don't miss out there's only a limited supply anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video of the top five things that i like on my jeep make sure to comment down below your favorite mods that you've done to your jeep i'm curious to know what they are because i can add them to my jeep too so i'll see you guys on the next one don't forget to sign up for the lift kit giveaway Peace.